All right, I'll tell you a little secret. Don't tell anybody, okay? I, I record these one after another, and then I realize I'm wearing the same shirt in many of these podcasts. So I decided to change the shirt in the middle. Uh, it's very uh, kind of a va- uh, you know, vanity, but what the hell. Okay, so we, I mentioned Beaufort scale, wind scale for uh, C state. So here is the scale, the uh, Beaufort number goes from uh, 0 to 12. Uh, when you reach 12, you're in a hurricane state, right? You better stay safe from that. The descriptive term used by uh, sailors and navies and so on uh, is calm, light, calm, light air, light breeze, gentle breeze, strong gale, uh, all the way to violent storm and hurricane, right? So if you're a sailor, you better know the pro- proper terminology because if you're on the deck and telling the captain how it looks, you better use the right term. So the wind speeds in kilometer per hour or miles per hour, uh, calm, obviously very weak winds, less than one kilometer per hour, then it's one to five, six to 11, and so on. And we reach uh, strong gales, uh, storm, uh, you know, we are getting into the cyclonic categories and you reach uh, hurricane status when you go more than 118 kilometer per hour. These are translated into kind of the appearance of the sea, so the sailor has to know these as well. When the winds are calm, less than one kilometer per hour, uh, the ocean looks like a mirror. And this does happen in the Western Pacific where the wind speeds uh, tend to get pretty calm or uh, I'm, I'm sure there are other regions that I cannot think of uh, right now. Uh, light there, you have ripples, uh, no foam crests, so basically like capillary waves, then you get small wavelets and so on. Uh, you can see by the time you reach gale winds, which are uh, very common terminology in poetry and prose and so on. Uh, so moderately high waves of greater length, edges of the crests begin to break into spin drift. Foam is blown in well-marked streaks. Okay. Obviously, when you reach the hurricane, uh, you have already got to a situation where the air is filled with foam and spray and the sea is completely white uh, with uh, driving spray and visibility is greatly reduced. You see in the special effects in many movies or you can go and watch some of your favorite movies again like Poseidon and The Perfect Storm that I mentioned before and so on, right? So what is the maximum wave height? For the longest time it was assumed by the sailors based on general uh, knowledge and experience that the wave height would never be mm, greater than about uh, I think I forgot 30 meters <coughs> and when uh, people reported uh, uh, like USS Ramapo was the first one to actually properly measure the wave height uh, and that it was way beyond the 60 meters uh, that uh, I think was assumed to be the maximum wave height before that. You can look it up. Uh, It's in the book. Okay. So you can see here that the ship was caught in this really, really strong uh, wind in 1933. There was a person sitting here on the the so-called crow's nest. He knew the ship's dimension. He could see on the horizon and determine the wave height. And using the dimension of the ship, he could determine that the uh, 150 meter or 500 feet long ship was caught in a 34 meter high uh, wave. 34 meters is more than 11 floors, okay? A floor is about 3 meters, let's say. That's 102 feet high. That's a massive, massive uh, wave, right? So here it is. Okay, I missed this before. Previously, the way it was thought that the waves couldn't exceed 60 feet. And uh, one of the uh, uh, the, uh, consequences of such a strong wave was that the USS Ramapo was actually seriously damaged. Imagine such a big ship being rammed uh, by a wave to look like this. So... This uh, Ramapo was lucky. lucky. Uh, It wasn't uh, much more seriously damaged than uh, shown here, but there are other crafts which have have not been so lucky. Every year it turns out that many big containers of cargo actually disappear, as many as 10 
they simply disappear which means probably got caught in a huge wave and just sank like a rock to the bottom of the ocean right and there are many small ships that also disappear that uh, we don't even know how many of them uh, actually uh, are even reported as being lost so ocean obviously has lots of wave energy running around and Beaufort scale is an important thing to uh, remember for the sailors or if you have plans uh, to sail around the world. Uh, interesting physics but also dangerous uh, as to what you can get into.